Jay's here with me. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> and his uh, Halloween lollipop. And I mean my lollipop. And from last, and from last time I got my lollipop. Alright. Is that about makeup now? Yes. Okay, thank you. I love you. Go. Go play. I don't have a drugstore primer, so we're skipping primer. We're just gonna go right in. This is the um, Simply Ageless CoverGirl Foundation. And I'm just gonna put a pump of this on the back of my hand. Um, I use the shade 210 Classic Ivory. And we're just gonna really quickly, um, oh, you know what, I'm gonna bring them here. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put this all over, blend it in with the damp uh, beauty sponge. This is the Real Techniques one. I love this one. And I don't know why a lot of people don't use this foundation. Um, I heard one girl on YouTube talk about it and say, you know, how much she liked it and that she didn't know why nobody talks about it, but nobody really talks about it. I guess maybe because it's been out like for a really long time and, you know, people on YouTube usually just kind of talk about the newer products more. Sort of moussey texture. I don't know. It's not quite a liquid, but, um, I don't know. Now, yesterday when I did this look for the Instagram post, I used the CoverGirl Outlast concealer under my eyes and it's a little dark and it's kind of liquidy. So I guess that's why I stopped using that. So instead today I'm gonna go in with this. This is the Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline. And uh, I'm in the shade Fair. I use the shade Fair since it's, I use it under my eyes. There we go. But that is a really good concealer. This, the, the Fit Me is a really good concealer. I used this for a long time before I bought the shape tape. Now I'm gonna bring a little bit of that over my lid as well. That's gonna be like our, our lid primer. I'm just bouncing it underneath the eye and then bouncing it over my eye as well. Okay. I know I'm making all kinds of funny Faces while I'm doing this. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go in with some Cody Airspun powder, just shake some off into the lid. Swirl and tap kind of thing. And then uh, I'm gonna set my lid, set underneath my eye. My nose. I love how this powder does such a good job of sort of blurring my pores, especially on my nose. I know, I've heard, I've heard because I haven't actually seen it in any store. So if you know where you can get the Cody Airspin powder, the um, unscented version, if you know where you can get that, let me know because I've looked for it. Um, when I first started using this powder, I looked for it because I just uh, the smell. Like, it's kind of bugging me right now. Because it has this very perfumey kind of smell. But, I mean, I can't deny how good it works. I mean. Okay. So now moving on to blush. I'm not using this blush. I'm just using the mirror. Because, you know. I'm just using the mirror that came with this. Because it's sitting here. It just came in the mail today. But look how pretty these blushes are. Doing drugstore, I'm gonna use this Milani blush, which oh, these are so pretty. These are great quality br blushes. And by the way, all the brushes that I will be using are drugstore brushes as well. Like this is a Wet n Wild blush brush, which I love. Okay, so I'm just gonna put some of this onto my cheeks. Mm. This one is called Blossom Time Rose, and it has a little bit of like gold shimmer in it, but to me it's not, I mean it's definitely not a matte blush. If you want a matte blush, not that one. But um, if you don't mind, a little bit of shimmer, <laughs> you're crazy. Mm. Um, yeah, if you don't mind a little bit of shimmer in your blush, then this is so nice. I mean, these blushes have buildable color. They don't go on like super like 
clown cheeks in one swipe, but uh, they're really nice. And because it has a little bit of that shimmer, if you want to not put highlight on, you can get away with it with this blush. But you know, we are going in with highlight though. And that's because I have this, this Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. It's so nice, you guys. Oh, so nice. Oh no, I forgot my highlighting brush. I didn't bring it down here. Okay, so I'm gonna throw my blush brush in that. And I'm just, oh yeah, there we go, it works. That's fine. And just do that as my highlight. I'm gonna put a little bit in my nose. Oh. Oh, there we go. First is going with this Essence Make Me Brow Brow Gel. You guys, this is just, mm, has this nice small little wand. This is $2.99. I can't get over it. This is $2.99. It is so good. I don't think I'm gonna buy, mm, I say this, but then I probably end up, will end up doing it, but I don't know. This is so good. It makes me not ever wanna buy like more expensive brand brow products. I'm not gonna name a brand because I'm just not, but. <laughs> You know who you are, and everybody else, you know what the expensive brow products are. Um, I'm not saying they're not good. They're good. They're great. But they're expensive, you know, 20 plus dollars for one brow gel versus, you know, or pencil or whatever. Versus this was $2.99, and it works so good. Now, I know I'm doing things kind of backwards. Most people will put their brow gel in afterwards. But because this brow gel is only $2.99 and I don't mind using a decent amount of it, I'm brushing this through first just to sort of set my brow. There we go. In with this sleek palette. I didn't bring down the brush that I usually use for my brows, so <laughs> we're gonna attempt to use this itty bitty brush that the sleek palette comes with. Um, it comes with these two little brushes and a little, you know, tweezers for on the go, I guess. We're just gonna go in with that powder. We're not gonna do, um, oh god, okay, this will kind of work. Okay, I mean, that does work. It's not as easy to work with as like, you know, a good quality angle brush, but I mean, this was not expensive either. I think this was like maybe $10. I'm lining my upper lid as close to the lash line as I can. This liner is Physician's Formula from Eye Enhancing Eyeliner Trio in Nude Eyes. And uh, it's the ones with like this little gold band because there is a little bit of gold. There is a little bit of gold in the eyeliner. Just these little brown and then it has like these little gold flecks. So I just lined the top and the bottom. Don't worry, we're gonna work it in with the shadows. And you know, I'm sitting here staring at this blush set from Tarte. I'm not gonna use it right now, but it would actually look really pretty on the eyes as well. A lot of those colors. Okay, so the first like transition kind of shade I'm gonna use is this Luna eyeshadow in Jace. I'm doing this look is because I was looking at the, um, this is just putting this in my crease and blending it out. Um, the reason I started wanting to do this like eye look yesterday was because I've been looking at the Peachy Matte palette from Too Faced. You know, I've been so tempted to get it, but at the same time, I was sick a couple, um, like for a couple weeks, and in that time, I 
tried to use my Too Faced Chocolate palette and just because my sinuses and everything were not how they normally are, um, the smell from the chocolate bar palette just like, oh, like I couldn't stand it. I had to close it and I could not use the palette. So because of that, I'm kind of like, mm, do I want another palette that I can't use all the time? Because of, you know, I have a lot of allergies. I tend to have issues with my sinuses during certain times of the year. So I'm just so debating whether I want to invest in a palette that I can't, you know, use all the time due to the scent. So I don't know. So I'm still toying with the idea, but for now, we're going to make some peachy looks without it. So, um, yesterday I used this, which I love this palette. This is the happy birthday palette from NYX. Um, you can do this with any palette you want, but I went in with this one and this one and this one and this one, the matte one, the matte ones, the matte browns, this matte orange. So I went in with those, but the thing is that I thought about it for this tutorial. I don't know that I want to use this because I don't know that any, everybody can get this palette. It was my birthday gift at Ulta. But I don't know if they still have this for this year. Or even if they just have this for the remainder of this year. They may not have this next year. I don't know. I don't know how else you get this palette. If you know, let me know. Instead, what I'm going to use another affordable, technically, drugstore. At least according to Ulta, it is drugstore. The Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, really love this palette. I'm going to be using that for my like transition-y shades orangey shade, orangey yellow shade. I'm gonna go in with that first. Um, just kind of right in the crease underneath where I put that other first shade. Just to kind of warm up, just to kind of warm up that first shade that I put down. There we go, I like how that looks, okay. This is the Ultimate Matte Eyeshadow Palette from NYX. The Brights, it says. Okay, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use this really bright peachy shade right here. And I'm just gonna use that on my finger. These are such nice shadows, you guys. This whole palette, this palette, I believe, is around $17, which is, it's, it's kind of pricey, but not for all the shades that you get. And NYX eyeshadows are so smooth. They're a really nice formula. So I wanted a small, bright palette exactly like this so that's why I got it okay so now we're gonna take that peachy shade on my finger and I'm just gonna kind of put this all over the lid I'm even gonna kind of I'm even gonna kind of like buff it over that liner my finger and the other eye as well color and put it underneath the eye right below where that liner is okay. I'm gonna put a little bit of this like second shade that's in here like this one right here, this like darker peachy shade. I'm gonna put a little bit of that one into this like outer part of my eye to make it, you know, a little bit more peachiness in there, but a little bit darker. Shade right here. It's like a reddish brownish shade. I'm just going to put this in my outer corner. Yesterday I used a brown. This is like a, it's like a deep reddish brown color. This time I'm going with a little bit warmer of a tone since we have the Jacqueline, Jacqueline Hill palette out. I'm going to, I'm working that on my outer corner and then just bringing a little bit of it into the crease, but not that much. Okay. 
I'm just sort of buffing, buffing this out. There we go. I'm taking my um, my powder brush and just going under. I didn't really have any fallout, but I'm just doing it anyway, just to sort of clean it up a little bit. And on the brow bone with this one right here, just a little bit right there. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That like, mm, did you see that? <laughs> that went on really light. Boom. Okay. Blend it in. <laughs> I'm gonna take a small brush and go back into that like reddish brownish color. And just go right here. On the outside. There we go. I'm gonna go back into that bright peachy color and just add a little bit more because I feel like all my blending kind of blended some of it away. So. I'm going back in with my finger and kind of like tapping some more on. Okay, there we go. The eyes are pretty well finished now. Um, I'm just gonna go in with my mascara. This is the uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. Oldie but goodie. <laughs> well, my son locked over my light, so, okay, um, this is gonna be my lip combo, <laughs> it's the Sexy Mother Pucker Lipstick in Super Nude, and, uh, this is the NYX Butter Gloss, love these glosses, by the way, these are great, uh, Maple Blondie is this one, I'm gonna put this on, over the top, just to sort of, I don't know, keep up with the peach theme. And actually, if you were thinking of getting, actually, if you were thinking of getting one of the Too Faced um, lip glosses, those peachy lip glosses, if you don't mind, you know, it not smelling like peaches, then this is actually, this Maple Blondie is a very peachy color. It's so pretty. I would... Oh, let's watch it. You can't see it very well. But, uh, there it is for what you can see, guys. Let me see if I can take you by the window and we can see a little better. I don't know. Um, um, Mwah! I love you guys. Um, we're here from Instagram. Hi! Mwah! Thank you for watching this and, um, sorry about the crazy. Uh, lighting and camera and all that, but I hope you like this uh, peachy look I did and uh, Thanks for watching and thanks for following me on Instagram Bye. Oh, it's so dark Oh